Hey guys, so if you run a TrueNAS installation, then one of the things that you absolutely want to do is get notified whenever there's problems or potential problems that TrueNAS wants you to know about. So one of the best ways to do that is to use the email notification feature in TrueNAS. And we're gonna set the email notification feature up for us today. We're gonna to be using a free Gmail account, but the settings are broadly the same for a lot of different uh, services. We'll touch on how to set it up for SMTP I'm using Gmail because uh, Gmail accounts are free and because uh, they have a very, very easy setup uh, process that we'll look at now at the minute. So the first step that we're going to have to do is we're going to have to set up an account, a mail server that TrueNAS can email from, something it can use to send you those emails. So when we log into the TrueNAS installation, first thing that we're going to do is hit the system option on the left hand side, then we're going to set the email option here on the, the left hand side. So again, these are the details about the email account that it'll be sending from. So uh, we've specified uh, a couple of options here already, the, the default. So you can set the from email to be anything you want. Whenever it we connect it to a service to set, actually send the emails, uh, this is the address that uh, FreeNAS will, uh, TrueNAS will try to send the email uh, from and it'll appear as the, the from address. Same with the from name and that allows you to maybe set up some email filters or rules to just notify you whenever there's a problem, whatever your, your preference is. So then we've got two options here for sending emails, the method by uh, doing so. So we're gonna be using a free Gmail account, which means we'll be using Gmail OAuth. But if you're using a different mail provider, then you're gonna be able to set your um, SMTP options here as well. So that will vary by provider. There's a couple of options there to do with TLS ports and the outgoing mail server. Your provider should have those details that should be available with a quick Google search. And you'll be able to check that um, with your mail provider. But uh, because we're using Gmail, we can just use the Gmail OAuth option. Then we get prompted to log into Gmail. And when I hit that, then uh, Google starts to warn me with its OAuth option that um, uh, Trun TrueNAS is trying to uh, get access to the system. It's asking for authorization. So I'm gonna hit the proceed option here um, and it's gonna go straight on to Google. And then uh, Google is gonna ask me Anna, which account I would like to use to uh, send the net mail notifications. So this is the account that I've set up previously to do that. And it will just warn me that it's going to allow it to send email on my behalf, which I'm perfectly okay with. So I'm just gonna hit the allow button. And once I do that, then I can see that this is basically set up. I can just hit the save option and the settings will be saved. And it's that easy. So we'd be able to send a test email now if we'd set a destination. I don't have a destination set just yet, so we're not going to do that right now, but we're gonna go over to the left-hand side again and under system one more time, we're actually gonna go down to alert services and we're gonna open up the alert services. So this is where you specify where the emails will be sent to. We just set up where they're going to send from, like how, what mail service it's going to use to send the emails. And this is where we set up the details about how it's going to, or when it's going to send up those emails. So we can see that the alert services are already uh, set up by default. There's an email option and an SMP, SNMP trap. So on the right hand side, I'm just going to hit the three dots for the email options. I'm just going to hit edit. But if I don't have any of these options, I can also add by hitting the, the blue add button at the top uh, right hand side. And then we, we get the option to add a couple of other um, notifications option if you're missing that. But I already do have it. So I'm just going to hit the three buttons and then hit edit. And then I get prompted with a couple of details. So one of the details uh, that I get asked for here is the email address that I'll be sending to. So we can leave a lot of these other ones at their default. It's type email, it's enabled. I'm um, sorry, the name of it is emailed. It's type email, it's enabled, and it's gonna send me warnings for anything that's above a warning criticality in TrueNAS itself. And we'll look at how to set that in a couple of minutes. And then we've set it here so that it sends to truenas123 at gmail.com. That is the same Gmail account that I used to send the emails. That's perfectly fine. TrueNAS can send an email to the same account it's using to send the email. So they all go to the same place. I know exactly where it's uh, sending the alerts for, and I know exactly where it's going to, uh, I'm going to get those alerts. So now that everything is set up, I'm going to test it by sending a test alert, and then TrueNAS is going to come back and tell me that it succeeded and that the test alert was sent. That's really good news because it means that TrueNAS knows it was able to get into the Gmail account that it's sending from and successfully send the email. And indeed, if I go in and take a look at my Gmail account that I've set up for this purpose, if I just do a quick refresh here, I can see that I've received an email from TrueNAS uh, notifying me that this is a test alert. So there'll be a lot of information here for me to, to make use of, and I can monitor my email inbox in case I think that there's going to be some sort of problems. 
So what kind of alerts are you going to get uh, warnings for? Well, as we see, saw here, we've got um, any alert that is a warning or above is going to be sent. So where is that controlled from? Well, if we look here on the left-hand side again under system, we can choose the alert settings. And when we uh, load the alert settings page, we can see that we've actually got a huge number of alerts uh, that we can configure. So there's everything here from um, IP addresses not being bound to uh, critical quotas uh, not exceeding, boot pools not being healthy, SSH login failures, etc., etc. whether or not scrubs are being posed or, or not uh, being posed. And I like to set a lot of these by default uh, or leave a lot of these to the default themselves. Uh, I don't really see a need to um, make a change to a lot of these, but if you were getting an alert that you didn't really care that much about, you would have the option to set a warning level here, uh, and not just if you didn't care a lot about them, maybe it's an info warning and you actually think that it's critical, you wanted to bump up the, the warning um, notice for it, you have the option here to specify what criticality you consider that alert to be. So um, I'm going to leave that exactly as the default, but then the other thing that you've got the option for is setting the frequency. So the default for setting any of these alerts is to send it immediately, but you could also set it to uh, do a roundup and send you hourly, daily, or just never send the alert uh, itself if you are never interested in hearing about this particular type of alert. Again, that's going to depend on your setup but I found that a lot of these defaults are exactly the way that you would want them to be, and I don't uh, think that there would be any need to change them. So that's it, guys. That's everything that you need to know about email alerts and getting alerted for different issues in the TrueNAS system. Uh, at this stage, once again, I'd ask if you could like, comment, and subscribe, so do the little YouTube dance. That really helps the channel out. It tells YouTube that the content is worth viewing and sharing with other people, and I would really appreciate it. Otherwise, I will catch you guys on the flip side.